in baseball in a place that you know is special. You didn't take that kind of stuff for granted. People didn't leave the park. They just wanted to stay there and absorb the sights and the smells. Welcome to Comiskey. Check your troubles at the gate. Matt Flesch is a lifelong White Sox fan. This month he released a three-part documentary titled Last Comiskey. It tells the story of the final season played at Chicago's Comiskey Park in 1990 and follows the team through a surprising 94-win season. And Matt Flesch joins us this morning. Good hey, morning. Matt. Morning. Thanks for having me. So I, the interesting thing is that I, you have no background in doing documentaries. You are just a fan who, for some reason, locked into this 1990 year. Tell us about it, how it happened. Yeah, this is my first uh, documentary of any kind. Did this together with my brother Mike, and it was during the COVID pandemic, and you know we had some extra time on our hands. The Last Dance came out, and we were thinking, you know, what are some great Chicago stories that we'd love to see a documentary on? And we both loved that 1990 White Sox team in the old Comiskey Park. So we thought, you know, we don't think anybody else is going to make a documentary about this, so why don't we do it? So that was kind of the genesis of the project. That's perfect. So yeah. how did you go about uh, getting started? Did you line up some interviews, some footage? How did you get it all together? It kind of started out, my brother and I did some videos that we put on YouTube with some narration, and that got the attention of Nancy Faust, a uh, longtime White Sox organist, kind of a Chicago icon, mm -hmm. reached out. She, she said that she loved it. Ozzie Guillen as well. So we started to get some good feedback from players. And then with COVID, everybody got used to using Zoom. So I think without Zoom becoming a big thing that people got used to, this probably wouldn't have happened. But it, you know, all these players were willing to get on a Zoom for 20 minutes and it inevitably turned into an hour of you know talking about the, the old park and in that season because they all have such fond memories of and like of Jack them. McDowell I don't see many interviews with him yeah. you managed to get him yeah. on there and here's Nan this old Nancy. footage of uh, Nancy Faust I mean she was just a legend there's a much younger uh, Ozzy Guillen he was the oh yeah he was the shortstop right of course That's right, yeah former manager um, did, did anyone what, what kind of stories did you hear about that that season I remember being a kid and being a fan of that team too as well but uh, tell us some of the little nuggets we're gonna hear yeah I really wanted to capture not just you know what happened in the games but what did it feel like to be at the park what did it feel like to be in the clubhouse what did it feel like to be a vendor so you know some of my favorite parts of this is we, we interviewed the beer vendors at mm. Comiskey Park and, and it was really a family that among the beer vendors and then the players too. Like hearing the stories about how within that really small cramped clubhouse at Comiskey Park, because it was tiny. It was so tiny and these players, they, I feel like that's part of, they had such a tight bond. And some of the things that we heard was just, like Lance Johnson, for instance, talks about how nobody let him go out after games. Like they really protected him. He was a young player. So just, just hearing the way, the camaraderie that that team had, not just though the team, but also like the beer vendors and the and clubhouse guy and all that It looks that like too. you're recreating with graphics how these clubhouses, how small it was back yeah. there, right? This was actually a a, a guy, um, Brian Powers, who does, who recreated virtually Comiskey Park ah. and lent a lot of it. And it's one of the cool things about this is so many fans lent us their old home videos. I was going to say, you didn't have access park. to a lot of right. official videos, so this is home video from fans. A yes. lot of it. A great deal of it is people who went there with their big video camera back in the day and just walked around and took video of not just the playing field, but the concourse. Like, what was it like underneath the stands? Because wow. one of the really cool things about Comiskey is coming up from that dark underground and then seeing right. the field in yeah. front of you and how green it was. So a lot of that old footage captures that, and I just I love that stuff. Right. Uh, you had to talk about the uh, Oakland series uh, in this. Remind us what happened there. That, that's part of the reason why 1990 was such a fun year, because the White Sox were supposed to be terrible, last place that year. It's going to be the last year in the park. You know, maybe there'll be some sellouts at the end of the year. And Oakland was this just powerhouse team. They had, you know, they were by far the best team in the league. And then the White Sox came out of nowhere, and it, they were a huge underdog. It was kind of a David and Goliath story throughout the, throughout the whole season, where the Sox really challenged them for the division the, the entire year. And right. Oakland had Jose Canseco yeah, and Jose Mark Canseco. McGuire yeah. and all these kind of you know big action right. figure type players. And the Sox had a bunch of little guys who were scrappy and and right. play the game the right way. So. And what about Chicken Willie? Why is that not ringing a bell with me? Yeah, so Chicken Willie was the clubhouse manager. In almost every interview I did, a player would bring up Chicken Willie and how, how important he was to the team. So not only was he the clubhouse guy who took care of their bags and everything, but he also cooked in the clubhouse. There was like a little triangle off the dugout where he would make fried chicken and collard oh greens. Gosh. And just these guys reminisce about what a great guy he was. and. And just to think about it now, all these players have a personal dietitian. 
and they probably yeah. have a restaurant in the clubhouse. Right. Back in 1990, you had Chicken Willie yeah, just... making fried chicken, <laughs> making wow. hot dogs wrapped in bacon. And by the way, everybody on that team played 150 games, so maybe the Chicken Willie, you know, home style cooking is the way to go. Well, well what did, uh, great. What did, oh, how much time do we have? We, we, I just want to yeah. know what, what Ozzie Guillen had to say. Obviously, he's still a huge figure yeah. among White Sox fans. What did he have to say about the 99 season? I wasn't sure how much he loved the old park. And one of the fun things about talking to him is he he remembers with such nostalgia the old park. He misses it so much. He considers it just to be an amazing place that he was fortunate to play in. And, you know, talking to Ozzy, the great thing about speaking with him about it is that I just said, tell me about 1990 in Comiskey Park. And, and I just, just sat there yeah. and listened. <laughs> right. And he kept going and going and going oh, and going. Awesome. And an hour and a half, two hours later, um, he just gave me all this great stuff. So he's, he's just a, a really good person. Well, for more, you can uh, check it out on YouTube. It's called Last Comiskey, and uh, part three of the series comes out uh, tomorrow? Yep, tomorrow, right? 8 p.m. All right, thanks so much. Nice to meet you. Congrats. Congrats. Thanks, thanks a lot. Thank Appreciate being here. All right.